So Google just announced a bunch of new AI updates to Gmail that I genuinely think are going to change the way that people use email forever. I'm talking about things like instant AI summaries, suggested responses, and even an AI agent that can autonomously handle your inbox for you. In this video, I'll show you what all these updates are and how you can get access to all of them. This first set of updates used to only be available for paid subscribers to Google AI Pro or Google AI Ultra, but it's rolling out now for all users completely for free. So I've been testing this for the past few months and I gotta say, these changes have completely changed the way that I use email. So first, when you come to your inbox and open up any of your emails, you're gonna start to see this button here at the top that says summarize this email. If you go ahead and click on this, this, as you might expect, will summarize the email that was sent to you. So here we can see a quite lengthy email that I sent myself all about some Q1 estimates and the Q1 execution plan. And here you can see the AI summarized that, said Paul J. Lipsky sent the Q1 execution plan proposal for a new workflow and reporting layer. And the five-week plan needs internal sign-off on owners, systems, deadlines, et cetera. And in my time testing this, I have found that this saves me a tremendous amount of time Anytime I get an email now, the first thing I do is I click on summarize this email in order to get a summary of what was talked about so I can get quickly caught up on it. And what's really helpful is that if you have a really long email thread, like a lot of back and forth between you and the person that you're talking with, it will summarize that entire thread as well. And if you leave the email and come back, the summary stays up there. It is persistent, so you only have to ever click it once per email. Once you're ready to actually respond to an email, you of course would scroll down to the section where there's normally a reply button. That's still gonna be here, but you're gonna to start to also see these suggested replies. These are automatically generated and you're gonna see them right here in sort of this gray text. If you wanna use this, all you have to do is go ahead and click on it. That will then open up a draft and you'll see the email appear there. You can make any changes that you want to it before clicking send. Now, when I first started using these AI features inside of Gmail, the suggested replies would never show up. But as time went on, they started to show up more and more and the replies started getting better and better. So it seems like it actually learns from your past emails to know what types of replies to actually suggest to you. So do give it a little bit of time. Now, speaking of which, this is a good time to mention that Google has expressly said that they do not train their models based on any of our emails, and you can opt out of any of these features at any time. Even if Gmail doesn't offer up a suggested reply, you can still use AI to help you reply to emails or to write emails. So anytime you click reply or when you go ahead and compose a new email, you're not gonna see this button right here that says help me write. And by clicking on this, this actually opens up the prompt box that you can use to craft your email. So I'm gonna to say to it something like, draft a reply, keep it friendly, that all sounds good. Can you reach out to Carla about contacting the owners? Let's touch base at the end of the day to see what needs to be done. Then go ahead and click on create. That will then draft the email right here. Now, one thing that always throws me off is that I think this email is here ready to be changed. So I always try to click here to change it and you can't do that. You actually have to click right here where it says insert. That will then insert it as a draft and at that point you can change it. And you can see right here, it drafted the email exactly the way that I wanted to. Draft a reply, it's very friendly. It says, all that sounds good and the plan looks solid. Can you reach out to Carla regarding the contract owner? And let's touch base at the end of the day. And if you're happy with that, you can click on send. Of course, you can make any changes or ask the AI to help you make any changes to it. So all the features I've shown you so far, I think are fantastic and they're now completely free. But if you are on one of the paid plans like Google AI Pro or Google AI Ultra, I have a pro tip for you because there's a way to actually use AI inside of Gmail a lot more efficiently. And you may have seen this already in this video. You may have been wondering what's over here on the right. If you click on the top right here where it says Ask Gemini, this will allow you to use Gemini with your Gmail. And this I have found is so much more powerful than any of the features I've shown you already. Let me explain why I use this. So right here, we have our AI summary and it's pretty good, but you can't tell it exactly what you want the summary to be about. The summary is what it is. But let's say there is a very specific question that I have and I don't feel like reading this entire email. So for instance, let's say I need to know what action items were assigned to me in this email. 
Well, that's where Gmail comes in because I can just come over here to Gmail and ask it what action items were assigned to me in this email. And here you can see an entire to-do list outlining everything that was assigned to me in this email. And I end up using this all the time because I get a lot of emails from different brands, for instance, who want to sponsor my videos. It's hard to keep track of everything. So a lot of times I'll just ask Gemini, hey, did we agree on a date for the video that we're working on? And it'll just be able to pluck that date out and just give it to me so I don't have to search for it. Another reason this is so powerful is because this gives you access to gems. So if you click up here, you can actually see your gems right here. You see, I created a gem specifically to help me write my emails. So if I go ahead and click on that, all I have to do is say to it reply, and it will actually draft a reply to this email. And that reply is in my tone of voice. It's exactly what I want because I set up a gem to do that. You can see that over here inside my gems. Here's the one for my emails. I gave it a set of instructions. I gave it some project knowledge as well. So it knows exactly how I like my emails answered. And then coming back here, you can see the email it drafted for me right here. There are some things I have to fill in, but assuming I'm happy with this, all I have to do is click right here where it says insert, and that will then insert it right here. I can make the changes, fill in everywhere that I have to fill in information, and then send it off. None of that is new, but I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this. I know a lot of people don't know about it. They just use the help me write feature. If you're using the paid version of Gemini, I think you should definitely be using this side panel right here and definitely take advantage of gems. The next features are also only available for paid subscribers and they're not out yet, but they are rolling out soon. This first one I'm actually really excited for is called AI Overviews. So basically, you know when you come over to Gmail and you have a search up here, the search works okay, but now AI is coming to that search. So you can use natural language to actually ask questions. So in this example, they said, who was the plumber that gave me that quote for a bathroom renovation last year and it actually gives you an AI overview at the top and it's going to give you more relevant search results as well so you can really find what you're looking for a lot better than you can with the existing search tool but probably the most exciting update is their AI inbox this is what they call a proactive inbox and so what this is going to look like is when you log in you can now click right here where it says AI inbox and it's going to show you right here at the top your suggested to-do list items based on all the emails that you have received. So you can see all these to-do list items that is created for this user. And then underneath that are your catch-up items. It's just things that you should be aware of that you need to sort of get caught up on. So all that will be detailed out for you. Instead of needing to open up every single individual email, this is actually going to group them together. So it actually notices that multiple emails, email one and email two, relate to the same topic, which in this case is Kevin's soccer season. And it grouped those together into a very nice, concise format. So you don't need to open these up. You don't have to click on AI summary. It will automatically generate this catch up list for you. I think once this rolls out, this is going to be a complete game changer. No longer are we going to have to look at individual emails. It's just going to give us a to-do list. It's just going to give us things to get caught up on. And we're going to be able to blow through our emails much, much faster. So there you go. Those are all the updates to Gmail that Google AI has just released. Total game changers in my opinion. And like I said, I've been using a lot of these for a while now and I found that they have made a huge difference in how quickly I can get through my emails. So if you enjoyed this video and wanna see more updates like this as they come out, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.